Um, as you can see, there are a lot of people walking on the street. Uh, this is not yet dinner time. This is really just you know, late afternoon. There are a lot of people here. Um, the retail shops are full of customers as well. Uh, you can see Chai Yan Yu is uh, just on the corner. There's another uh, small shop of Chai Yan Yu, so, which is a milk tea uh, chain store here. Um, so, you know, it's um, you know it's just very, very busy. This is probably uh, the most appropriate word, uh, word to describe the street uh, situation right now. Um, and, you know, I'm thinking about, um, we we're talking about the post-pandemic economic recovery, um, and I'm trying to use one word to describe uh, the economic recovery of the city. And I find a word uh, which I think is very appropriate, which is resilient. I think, you know, the economy here in Changsha, in, uh, in, in Changsha, in Hunan province is really, really resilient, especially in the retail sector. And how have uh, the revenues been uh, for Changsha-based companies, especially retailers, during the first three months of the year? Right. I actually have two sets of numbers, um, you know, um, that we can look at. Um, the GDP growth in Q1, uh, Changsha's GDP growth in Q1 this year is about 331 billion RMB, um, which is about 8.04% um, uh, in terms of the nominal GDP growth year on year. So that actually, you know, surprised a lot of people uh, because we're thinking about Q1. Uh, we do have, you know, um, a significant impact from pandemic, but the nominal GDP growth is still very significant. This is one. And secondly, the consumer retail uh, growth is also very, uh, very significant. Um, and that year on year growth is about 4.4%, uh, which brings you the number of total 123 billion RMB. So those are really surprising numbers. Um, and, and if we break down into retail months in um, January and February, uh, we see significant growth year on year. March has slightly dropped, uh, so the number slightly dropped a little bit uh, because of pandemic. Um, in April, the number was not very rosy. Um, but, you know, as um, we mentioned yesterday, while we're visiting the factories in the heavy machinery sector, the situation is similar. May we do see a very optimistic rebound. And I know there are many trendy consumption brands over there in Changsha, including the very popular milk tea brand that you just mentioned. Tell us a bit more about them, Kate. Right. Internet celebrity brands, um, they actually become more rational uh, during those uh, past two years uh, through a pandemic. All those brands, uh, they survived these two-year pandemic um, you know, influence, are genuinely healthy uh, because they are becoming more rational. Um, they cut those redundant stuff and then they become... Uh, they get back to the uh, business norms um, and then they, um, you know, be, uh, get back to their first principles of the business. Um, those brands, they, be, they, they, they pay more attention to the cash flow numbers right now and pay more attention to the efficiency. Um, so China is apparently this year doing very well. I see a lot of traffic there. Um, and the manager for this area was telling me yesterday that the total traffic, because, you know, those, this, this street concentrates most of the, um, uh, the famous retail, local retail brands. The, the total traffic is back to 80 percent um, of the total uh, traffic uh, pre-pandemic. So 80 percent of the traffic um, is already back now. So I think, you know, the general trend is rosy and it's very healthy.